1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What's up, guys? <laughs> this is Marcus, MF9 Parent Life. I have the beautiful Foxy. Foxy. Jackson joining me. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Oh, can we say that? Yeah, you can say it's that. It's not that much. Yeah. Um, Okay. Yeah, we you don't want to spend too much time, yeah. you know. But it's my uh, name. It's um honored, you know, because you usually don't do too many parent life videos. But I know. I'm glad you decided to join me though. Mm. Nah. There was something that was a pressing issue that I had to get off my chest. Go, you go right ahead. Okay. You go right ahead. You get it off your chest. So what I'm going to show the people first is a simple little... Listen up, guys. Picture. Can you see that? Can you see that? Hi, hi. Okay. So if you'll notice, the waves are going in different directions. One's going up, while the other one's going down. Okay? So what this is a diagram of is... Daddy telling the child to do something. Mommy telling the child to do the opposite. So you end up with this. The waves cancel each other out. Total confusion. Total confusion. So, for those of you who need it to be um, a lecture, for you to understand, um, if your child is getting tired and it's time to go to bed and I say little little one it is time to go to bed and little one says I don't want to go to bed and I say but it's time to go to bed because you come on over here and sit by big daddy little, little buddy you come sit by big daddy it's okay. Yeah, that's how this gonna go. Yeah. There's gonna be a long, awkward silence. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then the child is gonna say, oh, so if mommy tells me to do something that I don't wanna do, I just run to daddy. And daddy let me do it. Now the problem I have with this, one, is that it confuses the child. Well, there's more than one problem. So one, it confuses the child. Two, it sends a mixed message to the child. Mm -hmm. Because right now, you are allowing the child to do what he or she wants to do despite your instructions um, and despite the instructions of the other parent. Right. It also takes away the authority of the other parent. I have three boys and one girl. Girls need their dads just as much as boys need their dads. Right. But for all intents and purposes, tonight we're going to talk about little boys. Now, for the most part, little girls grow up and they are little girls that turn into little women and they, you know, are kind of tender towards their mother. Mm -hmm. May not like them, but they're still kind of tender because they're girls. Boys, on the other hand, turn up to be grown men with big muscles and a lot of height on their mothers. So, when boys get to that age of teenage years and they start feeling themselves and their hormones go crazy mm -hmm. and they have frontal lobe development and seem to think that they're bigger and stronger than their mothers and they say something off the wall and now it's Marcus, are you going to say something to him? They want you to come in and be the police. We ain't got time for that. Too much going on for all that. We don't have time for that. There's too much going on for all that. Because by now, he ain't got no damn respect for him. Because all them other years he was growing up, when he didn't want to do something, he came to you, and you let him do whatever he wanted to. So now that you want daddy to step in, it's too damn late. That's a problem. Really 
really ticks me off. Really. Really. Because you're going to sit up there and you're going to let this child, who is a freaking child, manipulate you? And play you against each other. That's not what you want. That is not playing the game the right way. No. Even if you don't agree, you don't let the child know that you don't agree. You take care of the child, and then the two of you go into the room and discuss quietly why you didn't agree. So that the next time, you still appear to be on the same front. But when you start allowing the child to separate the mother and the father, or the mother figure and the father figure, and put them against each other in the discipline, it's going to end up causing problems. Right. And how you and how you correct that is you tell the child, no, you do what your dad just told you to do. Or no, you do what your mom just told you to do. So that is a solution. Okay? You err on the side of caution, all right? Um it like she said, if you don't agree, that's when you err on the side of caution. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, go do what your daddy told you to do. You know, I'll talk to dad later. I'll talk to mom later. Never argue in front of the child. That is a huge, huge no, no. Um, stop doing that. If you're doing that, stop doing it. If you don't know how, call us. If you have some problems with that, call us 469-910-5810. We'll be happy to talk you through that. Mm-hmm. Any we'll comments, questions, you want to tell us we're wrong, email us. Let us know. Yeah. Marcus and Foxy at gmail.com. Absolutely. M A R C U S A N D F O X Y E at gmail.com. Absolutely. And we're not wrong. I'm pretty sure we've been. Yes, we will definitely help you with that. We will give you some ideas to how on on how to counteract that. Cuz that's a no-no. We don't want to do that. We never want to argue in front of the kid, the children and uh, we can help you find a solution for that problem. I think that's it. All right. Listen here. Y'all take it easy and try not to do too much. Hug and kiss them little ones because you know they like stuff like that. Anything else you want to say? No. Mm -mm. All right. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Peace. I want to thank you for coming on the show. Holla.